I want to talk about a few key topics that are important to understand about statin medications. The first is the, you know, really the mechanism of how cholesterol is metabolized in the body. I don't know if you looked through the blogs, but I spent some time talking about cholesterol absorbers and cholesterol producers and how each of these may respond differently to various treatments. So just to explain that, on one end are, like I said, cholesterol producers. These are people who are you know, making cholesterol in the liver. And it sort of doesn't matter what they eat, how much they exercise, how thin they are, you know, their LDL is their LDL. It's almost genetically scripted. They just make cholesterol. On the other side are cholesterol absorbers. They are very sensitive to nutrition. We all have a cholesterol circulation inside our body. Every single time we eat, the liver and gallbladder make a bunch of bile that, that goes into the digestive tract. And bile is very cholesterol rich. It's one of the things we use cholesterol to make. We can either make cholesterol, sorry, we can either make bile from, from grabbing cholesterol from the bloodstream and bringing it back to the liver to make bile for the next meal, or we can be very efficient and reuse and recycle any of the cholesterol that, any of the bile that's not used in the, in the digestive process. If we are very efficient bile recyclers, we need far less of that LDL, circulating LDL, to come back to the liver to make, it, it, come back to the liver to make bile for the next meal. So, two different extremes, bile, uh, cholesterol producers and cholesterol absorbers. If you think about that, it makes sense that these two extremes would respond differently to different medications. Statins work by affecting cholesterol production. So they work on this end of the spectrum. Food can work on this end of the spectrum, on the absorption end. If you are primarily a cholesterol producers, producer, you will respond well to statin medications. Small doses of statins could result in very significant LDL reductions in you. On the other hand, if you are primarily a cholesterol reabsorber and you're not using any of that LDL to make cholesterol for the, for, for, you know, to make, to use that, that cholesterol to make bile for the next meal, you're not going to be as, as sensitive to statins because you're much more dependent on this other mechanism. So you're going to need higher doses of statins to get to goal. Opposite is true too. If you're primarily an absorber, you know, you will respond very well to a dietary intervention such as step one foods. On the other hand, you will have much less effect on statin production, right? It's kind of scripted. So, you know, those are the two extremes. Most people fall somewhere in between and where you fall on the spectrum is really hard to know ahead of time unless until you try some intervention to you know to, to affect cholesterol so statins work really well for producers food work really well for absorbers most people are somewhere in between